Jin Min Du Chuan sat in the movie field of caution as he was making the start of the latest Jeff Fusion adventure. Jeff Fusion is the coolest spy ever, Jimmy said as he shared some puppet food candy with his friends. The lights went down and the movie began. Up on the screen, Super Spy Jeff Fusion Battle of Evil Ninjas. The next day at school, a mysterious voice called coming from in my locker. Open me, the voice said. Ah, Jimmy was lying, shaking his head. My parents told me never talk to strange doctors, but I'm a computerized at the doctor, the voice explained. Don't you want to know how I work? Jimmy signed here because he got the better of him. He opened the door and whoosh. He was instantly stuck inside. Jimmy tumbled through the darkness and landed in a jail. Good morning, Mr. Neutron, said a man standing before him. I am Commander Baker, and the government needs you. It does? Jimmy asked. I'm talking for Asian. Asian has dismissed it, the commander was playing, and we want you to find him. He also tried to over the Pacific Ocean. You can start searching there. You got yourself a spy, Jimmy shouted. Back at home, Jimmy met up with Gene and Carl. Gentlemen, he began with an electric. To join me in a wild adventure for Griff Ashton and Danger? Count us in! She shouted as the three fans climbed aboard when the hover car. The hover car took off and Sydney was flying above the Pacific Ocean. Suddenly, Jim, the Miss Pinciano later began beeping. I found the track gun device, Jimmy announced. It's the event we've been there. I was at the bottom of the ocean. Splash! The hover car drove up, up around the waves. Soon before the ocean floor, then Jimmy spotted Asian as his tracking device. But where else Asian at? Carl asked nervously. Look! She points, shouted, pointing to something else on the, on the ocean bottom. Moving closer, the boys saw the message and spell out in shells. Help! She said. They're taking me to Mr. Everest. Who's he? That's Mount Everest, Jimmy explained. Gentlemen, we're going to debate. Once they found from Mount Everest, the three young spies began the long, difficult climb up the mountain. Don't look down, don't look down! Carl repeated over and over as he made his way up. A loud number came above. What's that noise? She asked. Before Jimmy could answer, a huge avalanche came crashing down on the mountain toward them. Carl, she tumbled down the mountain. Damn, I shot out all of him! She screamed as he fell. The two boys landed in safely in a pile of snow. Um, where's Jimmy? Carl Wando as shaking the snow off himself. Jimmy had cracked up his backpack in the snow, but tried <gasps> falling through the air, shaft hidden in the side of the mountain. Help! He cried, plugging him down into the dark packages. Boing! Jimmy landed in a cup in the small. Huh? A prisoner, so a prisoner still stood staring at him. I know you, Jimmy says, stepping up to the man. You're Jeff Fusion, but you chose the movies from party. It's true, Jeff Fusion began. I play spy in movies, but that's what shows the cover. I'm really Asian as a real life spy. Who are you? Neutron, Jimmy replied. James Neutron, but look who called me Jimmy. I was tracking and a tourist feeling, Jeff Fusion explained to Jimmy. He's about to leave a daughter's girlfriend. His name is Professor Calamitous, said a voice from behind him. Jimmy spun around and found himself face to face with his old enemy, Professor Calamitous. We didn't meet again, Jimmy Neutron, said the Professor Truck Gun. And only this time, you and your friend here weren't able to stop my plan to melt the snow out of my efforts. Get the world! A long woman stepped into the flue. This was my daughter and assistant, Blue for Gorgeous, Professor Cam's explained. I'm not your assistant, Blue for, for Gorgeous explained. I'm vice president in the church of evil to film it. Well then, to film the evil, yelled the professor loud. Blue for Gorgeous quickly tied up Jimmy and Jack into a large wheel as the wheel began spinning slowly above a pool. <gasps> Angry shots! As the wheel lowered, not Jimmy. Sorry, some speed calculations. The spinning rotation of the wheel is off by 70 million degrees. He was put at the 13 of the per minute, the sharp edge of the pool, thanks to the before we could reach the starts. 
Do you have a calculator here in the hair of yours? Check fusion asked. No, Jimmy replied, just a big brain. Sure enough, as the real load, the pool shop has signs off the ropes. Jimmy and Jenny free as the real plunge into my two into the shark infested water. Beautiful girls spun around, ready for a fight. Just as you know, she began ice turn you in 112 different martial arts. So am I. Replied Jefferson. Then this will be interesting, beautiful course said before rushing towards the spy. Wow! says Blank Jimmy as she watched the two battle. This is so cool. It's like watching a Jeff Fusion movie in person. I know this must be exciting for your kids, Jeff Fusion said, but I couldn't do some help. Jimmy quickly glanced around the room. If I could wake up a hip in the beam, it was like quiet from my Close matches, a piece of wood and some snow. Splank grabbing a piece of some loose. Let me shift the bean beans forever. Hey, gorgeous, time for your blue sleep. Zap! Luva gorgeous and he fell into a deep sleep. Jimmy raced into the control panel and pushed the button to shut down the professor's flying machine. <laughs> nice work! Jimmy, said Chef Fusion. You saved the walls, but now this whole face is on the floor. So high! Jimmy and Jet dashed from the professor's headquarters. How are we going to get down the mountain without a snowboard? Chef Fusion asked. I can make a snowboard, Jimmy explained. Quick, Jimmy shouted, pointing at the door, leading to the professor's headquarters. Light that door off and set it. Now give it a few plays to cry, chops, Jimmy shouted. Heel, heel, and heel at 40 degree angle. Gun pal, shouted Jeff Fusion as he kept the door away. When the snowboard was finished, Jeff Fusion looked at it. Sweet, he said. Maybe we should go into the snowboard design business. Ah, uh, sure, Jet, Jimmy replied nervously, but... First, we think we have to get out of fast. Kaboom! Jimmy and Jet, the farmer, the home of snowboard, and raced down the mountain. Behind the professor, can I miss her course? It's blood in the fall of the swar. The force of the same. Professor Calamdus and beautiful courses flying from their headquarters, landing in the snow, roll down in the, down the mountain, a giant snowball. They're getting in on us! Jimmy shouted, glancing over his shoulder. Quick, fire up the chestnuts! That will give us the boost we need. We need to stay ahead of the snowball. Kid, do a one spot, um, kid! Jeff Fusion replied, reaching down to his pal up his shoes. Down the chest! Nothing happened. Uh oh! Jeff Fusion cried. The batteries are dead! Do you happen to have any 27 or double press? Any batteries on you? No! Jimmy replied as an idea flashed over his oversized ring. But if you reach through my backpack with the snow, far of evil ganging on them, Jimmy stealed the snowball over to the spot where his backpack fell, reached out, and snuck it by the handle of Snoopin. Got it! Jimmy shouted as the snowball could race through him. Jimmy, he put his back from him and mounted up the engine. And there's any chance? Half pack now! Whoosh! The backpack flamed to life, lifting up the heels into the air just as the snowball mm, passed beneath them. Beautiful gorgeous. Mm. Professor Kalam spun around and around inside the thermal snow. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. Professor Kalam smiled. Now I saw you, so bad you are, beautiful gorgeous. Up there. The snow but finally stopped, leaving the Professor Blue for jumping down a huge pile of snow. This is all you thought, the professor said. It was like my idea to flat the world. Blue Force said, swing back. They planned it. Then it's moving on the snowboard on the bottom of the mountain. Jimmy and Chad Fusion stayed to a stop. There they found Carl Machine with a group of local monks. Thank you for saving our home, the leader said to Jimmy. All in a day's work, Jimmy replied. Hey, Chuck Oh. Yeah, who's Jeff Fusion? Yep, yeah, Jimmy said proudly. He are uh, his new spy pa- uh, partner. Cool! She and Carl were taken together. And now, gentlemen, Jimmy said, it's time to head home. Flying home in the hovercar, Jimmy dropped off Carl Machine before returning to the headquarters of Jeff Fusion. Congratulations, said Commander Baker as he played the medal onto Jimmy's shoulder. A job well done. We may call a new dawn sometime. Who knows? said Chef Fusion. You may get it all a movie. Yeah, right, replied Jimmy. That will be the day. The end.